Greetings everyone. I'm Shriyat Ali from Medicos Lectures by Shujat and today we are going to talk about ectopic pregnancy. A very interesting topic. So focus on this word ectopic means abnormal placement and pregnancy. So development of fetus in abnormal place particularly outside of uterus in fallopian tube is ectopic pregnancy. So before going in roots of this topic we have to know few structural importance of female reproductive tract and how this ectopic pregnancy is occurring. So for that I draw few structures here we have vagina, cervix, uterus, ovary, fallopian tube its part fimbria and ampulla. So what happen normally that ovary after fertilization egg travel through fallopian tube implant itself in uterus while in case of ectopic pregnancy it travels in fallopian tube but due to some anomalies abnormalities it implants itself in fallopian tube 90 percent cases it implants itself in fallopian tube or either in any place outside the uterus it implants so that's how fallopian ectopic pregnancy occur now we have been presented with clinical scenario in our state exams that a woman of reproductive age like you can say a 25 year old is presented with nausea vomiting vaginal bleeding abdominal pain and pain radiating towards shoulder or shoulder tip pain and also has sign of hypotension, ruptured ectopic pregnancy, signs of shock, peritonitis. What are our diagnosis? So diagnosis is definitely going to be ectopic pregnancy but my aim in, in this topic in this discussion is how we can basically eradicate other options and ultimately going to pick this ectopic pregnancy. So for that we have few differential diagnosis, for that we have few investigations for that we have few key points which will tell us that we have an ectopic pregnancy in that particular woman. So in differential diagnosis hormone beta HCG is very important because it can tell us either pregnancy is there or not and we basically check after every two days HCG because in first trimester the level of HCG doubles after every two days. So it is very important and full blood count it will tell us about anemia or any anomaly relevant to the blood electrolyte and creatinine and LFTs electrolyte and urea creatinine tell us about urinary and kidney abnormalities and LFTs about liver function. In case of risk factor we have intrauterine devices and we have previous ectopic pregnancy and salpingitis salpingitis is inflammation of fallopian tube so if chronic salpingitis occur we will eradicate this condition that we have ectopic pregnancy PID peripheral inflammatory disease smoking tubular surgery so these are very important risk factors which lead us towards the condition of ectopic pregnancies so till here in quick overview what we discuss we discuss what actually ectopic pregnancy is what are structural points how it occurs and what are signs, symptoms, physical uh, signs and how we can differentially diagnose it. Now we are going to move towards the management of ectopic pregnancy that a woman is being presented with ectopic pregnancy how we can manage it. So management is based on symptomatic, asymptomatic or what are location of ectopic pregnancy. So watchful waiting in case of asymptomatic methotrexate if symptoms occur methotrexate what uh, we do is basically it will suppress the rapidly dividing cells so methotrexate is very important in this case in case of emergency management we have to do laparoscopy it is preferred laparotomy salpingectomy is basically complete removal of fallopian tube or salpingostomy removal of part of fallopian tube is basically the management of ectopic pregnancy in complications we have ruptured ectopic pregnancy shock due to surgery there might be some infections which occur and nausea and vomiting so these are basically how we can identify ectopic pregnancy how we can treat ectopic pregnancy what are few differential diagnoses what are signs symptoms management what actually it is and how this phenomena or abnormality take place in ectopic pregnancy. So that's all from the overview of ectopic pregnancy. Hope you all guys will understand it 
in case of any query you can directly ask me i will be there for you guys jazakallah khair thank you so much guys thank you